Hey guys, uh, this is Numbers 102. This is for general chemistry. And our topic for these notes is um, scientific notation and also the metric system. So we're gonna take a quick tour through each of those topics and um, as they apply to chemistry, I'm not going really super deep into um, either topic, but um, just what is needed for our class, okay? So um, we're gonna start with the scientific notation. And um, scientific notation is just a way to uh, write numbers. I'm gonna adjust the video here really quick. Um, and we're gonna say versus standard notation. So the word notation here is just referring to writing. And standard notation means um, the usual way of writing numbers. So standard notation is the usual way of writing numbers. Scientific notation is using a power of 10 for writing numbers. Sorry, that's, <laughs> so using a power of 10 um, for, as a way of writing numbers. Still working on my technology here, sorry. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna go through a couple of examples. And on this side, I'll have the scientific notation. And on the right side, I'll have the standard notation. So um, if we had a number like say 325, um, we know that there is an implied decimal right here at the, after the five. And in standard notation, we sometimes will show the decimal, sometimes not. If the number doesn't go any further in its accuracy than the five, um, we won't show the decimal. Um, this number 325 in scientific notation is gonna be written as um, a digit decimal, digit, digit, times 10 to the something, okay? So scientific notation always shows the decimal after the first non-zero number. So the number 325, we have a decimal here and we need to move it two spots um, to the left to get it to 3.25, which would be in this um, form. So it'd be 3.25 and then we moved it, moved the decimal two spots, so times 10 to the second power is how you would show that. 325 is 3.25 times 10 to the second. Um, a number like 0 0.00430 is a number that is smaller than one. So it's gonna have a negative exponent up here. So uh, the decimal is here and we're gonna move it three spots to the right. So we're gonna have 4.30 times 10 to the negative three. Um, a really big number, like um, we'll say one million. In standard notation, uh, we have six zeros and a one. 
And in scientific notation, we would have to move one, two, three, four, five, six spots, and we get 1.0 times 10 to the sixth. So um, scientific notation is generally used to show uh, very large or very small numbers. And just in a convenient way. Where standard notation shows all the places of 10. And can be cumbersome. for very large or very small numbers. Just a minute, please. And I'm recording. I'm recording. So when we have these numbers like 1 million, instead of showing all the zeros, we show 1.0 times 10 to the six. Okay, and just a quick note, um, a positive exponent on the 10 means a number larger than one. And a negative exponent on the 10 means a number smaller than one. I love you too, bud. You okay? Okay, so I'll do a couple more little examples here. Then I'll get down to the metric system. Uh, let's say we have a number like um, 0 0.00000752. And we're asked, that's in standard notation, we're asked to put it into scientific notation. In order to get it, get the decimal to here, we need to move it one, two, three, four, five, six spots to the right. So we'd have this as 7.52 times 10 to the minus six. Because we moved one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'll do another example of a very large number. We'll say 400. 450 million, I think that's right. And we know that the decimal is here at the end. So in order for us to get the decimal here after the four, we have to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. So this would be 4.5 times 10 to the eighth power, okay? All right, so that is a brief introduction of scientific notation. And something that is very closely related to scientific notation is the metric system. And um, when we grew up in the United States, we use the English standard system, um, which involves like pounds and inches and uh, gallons for different units and so for the metric system um, I'm just going to write down the basic unit for each item and um, for volume they use liters for mass which would be like weight is grams and for distance or length they use meters so those are the basic units um, for a liter, you can think of how big like a two liter bottle of pop is. Cut that in half, that's a liter. Um, a gram is like one milliliter of water, which is a very small amount. 
Uh, you can think of like a can of Diet Coke, which I love. And that's 355 milliliters. So cut a can of Diet Coke up into 355 little pieces and that would be one, um, one milliliter. And, and that would be a gram of water. Um, and then distance of meters is about three feet, a little bit longer than three feet. So when you pick up a yardstick, uh, those are actually a meter stick. Okay, so some important equivalents from the metric system that you're gonna use. Just a minute, please. And I just wanna make sure I'm getting some of these. Yes, okay, so some important equivalents that you'll use from the metric system um, would be like, oh, my pen is going, 1,000 milliliters is one liter. And um, milliliter is uh, shown with an ML. Let's switch this over just a little bit. Let's see that whole thing. And a liter is one uh, capital L. So that's a liter. Let's see. Um, we can also have 1,000 grams is one kilogram grams is G kilograms is kg um, another important equivalence would be 100 centimeters oops is one meter Last one, a thousand milligrams is one gram. And milla, of course, just means one one thousandth of something. I'm trying to think if there's other important ones that you're gonna got milliliters to liters, kilograms to grams, centimeters, milligrams. And I think that's all as far as um, unit equivalents go for the metric system. Um, when you want to indicate that you're using one of these uh, units, the small unit like centimeter or milligram, you put a number, or excuse me, a letter in front of the unit. So grams is G, liters is capital L, and meters is M. And then I'm kind of running out of space, but I'm gonna scooch this over just for a second. Uh, centi is C, milli is M, and kilo is K. So these are kind of like mix and match. So you could have um, a kilometer, which is a kilometer. And like a thousand meters is one kilometer. And I'd write that as km, and this would be meters. Okay, and I'm going to scooch that over and zoom out just a little bit so you can get a full shot of it. And that's it for uh, numbers 102. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you. Bye.